particle moves along the x-axis according to this equation, uh, we have to calculate the average velocity for the first three seconds, instantaneous velocity at three and the instantaneous acceleration, okay. So the average velocity first off will be the total displacement over the total time. Total displacement over total time. Now the uh, good thing about this is since this will never be negative, so this means that the direction of the movement is not changing and hence the distance is same as displacement. So the final distance is at r x equal to 3, at t equal to 3, which is 50 times 3 plus 10 times 3 square. And the initial is at t equal to 0, which is 0 over the time is 3 seconds. So this value is coming as I think uh, 80 and the unit is meter per second. If we, if we will try to find instantaneous velocity, then instantaneous velocity is given by dx over dt. What is dx over dt? We just differentiate this with respect to time. That will be 50 plus 10 times 2t. Uh, so that will come at, and that also we have to find at 3. So we just place 3 over here. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. 60 plus 50 is 110. And finally, the acceleration. So acceleration, remember, is the first derivative of the instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity is this. If we differentiate this, then this is 0. 20 comes out, and the differentiation of t is just 1. So that's just 20 meter per second square. So that is the answer to part C. This is the answer to part B. And this is the answer to part A. Thank you.